name is Kanisha Shime and I'm going to be doing a Gucci inspired makeup look today. We're going to go ahead and get into our brows. I usually use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. This is a Essence eyeliner brush and I usually like to outline my brow first and then I will go back through and fill it in. I don't have that much hair here in the front and this is why I especially like this brush is because I usually turn it upside down and I will start to mimic my hair. So now we can go ahead and carve out the brows. What I like to use for this process is the LA Girl Pro HD Concealer. This one is in the lightest one which is porcelain and I go in with a flat brush like this. This one is from Wet n Wild. As you can see, I'm just filling my whole lid. Just to kind of buff it all out and get rid of like the streaks, I go in with this brush. It is from BH Cosmetics. For the shadow, we're gonna be going in with the Morphe palette, which is the 35B palette. We will be going in with this green color right here for the crease. I'm gonna go ahead and start to just pat this right here in my crease area. It's been really actually nice having Instagram there in order to like show my work. I think it's helped me be true to the artist that I am because before I was doing more looks that were everyday looks and now I'm able to just kind of show more of like my creative side and do you know different looks that are out of the box. This is when I will go back in with either a clean brush or I might even just wipe off that brush and start to blend out these edges so we don't have such a harsh line. For this look we are going to be doing a cut crease and I'm going to go in with that LA Girl Pro Concealer and I'm going to lay it down on my lid. And then what you can do is just look up and basically that will help create that cut crease for you. And then I just follow that line. We are gonna go in with our lid color. I'm gonna be using an e.l.f. smudge brush. I'm gonna be taking this red color from the same Morphe 35B palette. And I'm just gonna basically lay that exactly where we did the crease color. I'm gonna go in with that same crease brush and pick up the green and I'm gonna hit this outer corner of the eye and blend that into the red. I'm gonna be going in with a very small dome brush. This one is from BH Cosmetics. I'm gonna be picking up the green and I'm just going to be outlining that cut crease again. So for the gold, I am gonna be going in with these two products right here. This is the Mayron Metallic Powder in gold and then this is their mixing liquid which you can buy both of them and you get a liquid if you don't have these products at home what i used to do is if you have any type of gold pigment or shimmer or something along those lines and mix it either with a setting spray or even an argan oil you're going to be going in with this tiny detailed brush this is actually a paint brush from michael's so i'm going to be doing a cat eye once I get to the end, I usually like to draw a line from the corner of my eye. I like to do it at an angle to where it's basically pointing to the end of my brow tail. From the tip of that line, I will connect it to this line. And then just fill that part in. And I am going to be doing a gold liner at the top, carving out that cut crease line. Okay, so we have that lined. So I did just get a little bit gold on the red, but that's okay. You can just go ahead and fix it by putting red right over it. Once the gold liner is done, we can go ahead and clean off our face. I am gonna be going in with the CoverGirl Matte Made. I am in the color T40 Sun Beige. And I usually just like to add that with my finger at first, and then I will go in with a beauty blender and blend it all out. This is a number two pencil from 
Doll Tan Beauty. I like to just go ahead and buff this out here in the middle. I'm actually going to be going in with the Mayron AQ Paints. It's actually a very big palette that looks like this. I will be using one of those painter brushes and I'm going to be dipping into the red. We want to start with our snake first. I'm going to go ahead and go in with a black and make the head and the tail. So once that's done, we're going to go ahead and make the stripes. I'm going to first lay down the white. While we're letting that dry, I'm going to mix a little bit of the white and the pink and I'm going to do a couple of the standard Gucci flowers that are around the snake. It doesn't have to be, you know, anything perfect. I'm basically just making like a circle and kind of flaring it out a little bit. So then I'm going to dip a little bit into the red, hit the outsides of like these flowers just to make them have a little bit more depth to them. Going into the white and pink again and gonna do a couple of flowers over on this side. And then we're gonna put a little bit of the black in the middle with a white dot. And then we can go ahead and go back through over this white on the snake. Okay, so then we're gonna go in with a smaller paintbrush and we're gonna do the black stripe. I'm gonna add a little white dot on the snake's face right there. I'm gonna add a white stripe here next to the tail. We're actually gonna go in and add a couple of those um, pink and white flowers around the snake as well. Now we can go in with the leaves. I'm gonna go in with a green. So I'm going to pick up a little bit of a darker green for these leaves. And then I'm going to go in and make the vine. So we're just going to intertwine that vine behind the snake. And then I'm going to add some leaves on it. So now I'm going to go in with a lighter green and kind of just make a little bit more depth on the vine. Now we're gonna go ahead and finish the face. So I like to go in with these two concealers. This is from Mora Cosmetics. This one is in the Mega Concealer. This was in number four Honey. And then I like to go in with their Lavish Creamy Concealer. It looks like this. And this one is in number four Milk Tea. I like to just add a line of this and then I go in with the lavish one, which is a little bit lighter. It's gonna add a little bit of the concealer to the bridge of the nose and a little bit on the chin area. Then I'm gonna go in and just start blending that out. And now it is time to contour. I'm gonna be going in with this Pure Cameo Stick. It is a dual-ended contour foundation. I apply it underneath my cheekbone, underneath the chin, some on my forehead. This is a flat contour brush from BH Cosmetics. And I'm just gonna go ahead and start blending that out, making sure that I'm blending upwards versus down. That way um, we can have that natural lift. So I do like to set my cream contour with a powder. The one that I've been loving is from Doll Tan Beauty. It's their Golden Pearl Bronzing Powder. And we'll go over that same line. And make sure to blend it down your neck. I will be grabbing a stiff dome brush with a little bit of that contour stick that we just used and contour a little bit of my nose. I want to set underneath the eyes and I go in with this Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder and I use that same Beauty Blender. For the blush, I'm gonna be using this from Profusion. It is their six color blush palette. I'm gonna be using this color right here which is called great and you want to make sure that you're applying the blush right there on the apples of your cheeks so moving on to the highlight i'm going to be going in with this really pretty gold from jd glow cosmetics i'm going to take that with a fan brush a little bit above the 
forehead on the chin and then I go in with a very small dome brush and now we're gonna highlight underneath the brow bone and then the inner corner of the tear duct the tip of the nose and then I like to do my cupid's bow I am gonna go in with this loose dust pigment this is from stay golden cosmetics this one is in Dior. I'm just gonna put it right there in the inner tear duct. Now all we need to do is the lower lash line. The white liner that I usually like to use is the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Melt. So I'm gonna go in with that red, blend it out. Um, to match with this green, I'm gonna be going in with this lipstick from Spoiled Lips and this one is called Sway. I like to apply a thin layer first, let it dry, and then apply one more layer. I'm going to be putting a red line down the center of my bottom lip, and I'm going to be using this right here from Fontella Cosmetics. This is a liquid lipstick, and it's called Blessed. So I'm going to use that paint brush again and just pick up some of that product, and then just run it down the center of my lip. I'm going to be going in with some LA Splash Lashes. Um, I usually use the Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive in Black with Aloe, um, just so it's not as harsh on my lashes. And I do let that glue get a little bit tacky before applying them. Then I'm going to apply the Urban Decay Troublemaker Mascara. And then I will apply some to the lower lash line. Hey you guys, that actually does complete the look. Thank you guys so much for watching.